example two, you have been asked to design a one liter, which is the same as 1,000 cubic centimeter, cylindrical aluminum can. What dimensions will use the least amount of aluminum? And I'm giving you here the formulas for volume of a cylinder and for the surface area of a cylinder. Okay, so let's see. First step, draw a picture of the problem statement and label it with variables. So, we're designing a 1,000 liter, or sorry, 1 liter cylindrical aluminum can. So it looks something like this. Okay, um, that's my picture labeled with variables for the radius and height of the can. I'm using radius and height here instead of diameter or anything else because the formulas that we're going to have to use, you notice, are in terms of radius and height. So, for example, the volume is pi times radius squared times height. So we know we're going to need these anyway. We might as well pick those as our parameters to define how big the cylinder is. Okay. Step two, decide what you wish to optimize and write an equation in terms of the variables. So what we wish to optimize, um, let's see, what dimensions will use the least amount of aluminum? So the amount of aluminum actually is not going to be volume because that would be the space inside the can. The amount of aluminum is going to depend on the surface area. It's going to be the area around the outside of the can that will determine the amount of aluminum. So what we wish to do is minimize the surface area. Actually write that down. Want to minimize the surface area. And let's write an equation in terms of the variables. So fortunately that step is easy because we actually are given that equation. The surface area is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So that's it. So step two is done. We decided what we wish to optimize. We wrote an equation in terms of the variables. Now we have to do step three. If there's more than one variable, eliminate all but one of them. Now here, there is more than one variable. There's R's and H's. So we want to eliminate all but one of them. And my choice here would be to eliminate H. Now I suppose you could choose either one to eliminate, but H is going to be the, turn out to be the easier one here. So let's get rid of the H. Now to get rid of the H, we need some more information. So you look back at the problem and notice that there's some information we haven't used. Um, and this is the information we haven't used. We've been given the volume of the can. The can's volume has to be 1,000 cubic centimeters. So let's see if we can use that to eliminate H. Well, on the side here, let's actually do it over here. Um, the volume is pi r squared H, and we're given that the volume has to be 1,000, which means 1,000 is pi r squared H. So we can actually solve for H by dividing by pi r squared. We've got h is a thousand divided by pi r squared. So now that we actually know this, we know h in terms of r, we can go plug this in over here to get surface area equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r and instead of h, we know h is a thousand we know h is 1,000 divided by pi r squared. Okay, I'll say that again in case, because that part's the trickiest part, in case you missed it. So we wrote our equation in terms of r's and h's. We want to eliminate all but one variable, so we'll choose to keep the r's and get rid of the h. The way to get rid of the h is to use the information in the problem that the volume has to be a thousand cubic centimeters and on the side over here like on the side here 
say, well, there's the volume. The volume has to be a thousand. So we now have a relation between R and H that we can solve for H pretty easily. And now we know what H is in terms of R. So we can go back here and plug in this expression for H. Now we have an expression here, notice right here, that only has one variable in it. And that's what we wanted. Okay. So let's see, we have to draw a graph of the function we wish to optimize. But before that, let's clean this up here. Surface area. 2 pi r squared is about as nice as that part's going to get. But in this part, actually, the times pi divide by pi will cancel. And the times r divided by r squared will cancel one of the r's. So we'll just get an r in the bottom leaving us with 2 times 1,000 on the top and just an R on the bottom. So now we have this. Okay, now that's, that's much more simple, so we can uh, draw a graph of this function that we wish to optimize. So, we go back to the graphing calculator here. And our graph is going to be 2 pi R squared plus 2,000 divided by r. And here I'm typing x instead of r because um, the calculator doesn't allow you to put in r. So, let's see. My window, let's decide on the window. Um, this has to be a one liter can. So, you probably all know about how big a liter is. It's about the same as a quart. Um, about 32 ounces. So let's think about how big this R could be. If the can's going to be about this big, that couldn't be obviously less than zero centimeters, but it couldn't be more than about, I don't know, 10 centimeters, 15 centimeters. So let's go from zero to 15 centimeters there. I don't even think it's going to get that big. And the volume um, or sorry, the surface area is what we're graphing. The surface area, let's see. Again, I have no idea. It can't be um, less than zero, but it probably isn't more than a thousand. Let's graph it and see what comes out. All right. Pretty good guess. I guess good again. Okay. So here's the graph. Um, let's draw that. I'm going to move this up. So here I'm drawing the graph. Here's the surface area. That's a thousand, that's zero. And here we have radius from zero to, I think I said 15. And it looked like this. You can see that, I hope. Okay. So let's um, minimize this. Remember, we want the minimum, we said over here, want to minimize the surface area. So the point we want is right there. We want the minimum surface area where this function bottoms out. And to do that, step five is to take the first derivative of the function, set it equal to zero, and solve. There it is. Okay. So here's the, our function. The derivative of the surface area with respect to r is, let's see, 2 pi is a constant. The derivative of r squared is 2r. So we've got 2 pi times 2r. So that's 4 pi r. The derivative of 2,000 divided by r, you can think of that as 2,000 r to the minus 1, so the derivative would be negative 2,000 r to the minus 2. Negative 2,000, and I'll write r to the minus 2 like that. Okay, we want it to set it equal to 0 and solve, because we want the tangent line horizontal here. So we want to solve 
0 equals 4 pi r minus 2,000 divided by r squared. Let's see. Um, to solve this, let's add the 2,000 over r squared to the other side. So we got 2,000 over r squared equals 4 pi r. Let's multiply by r squared to get 2,000 equals 4 pi r cubed. Let's divide by 4 to get 500 and then divide by pi. So we get 500 divided by pi. You could say 2,000 divided by 4 pi all at once, but it would simplify like this anyway. Equals r cubed. And remember we want to solve this for r, so we're going to take the cube root of both sides. So that's what we get. r is the cube root of 500 over pi. Now let's get a good estimate as to what that is. Let's see. There's my calculator. The cube root of 500 divided by pi. I've got 5.419 centimeters. Five point four one nine approximately. Okay. Last step. Answer the question. What was the question here? It's easy in these long problems to forget what you were trying to show anyway. So here we go. What dimensions will use the least amount of aluminum? So that's the dimension of R. That's the radius that will use the least amount. 5.419 centimeters. And we want the height also, because the dimensions, if you know, if you were going to tell somebody to manufacture a can, you'd have to not only tell them the, the radius of the circle at the bottom of the can, but you, you would also have to tell them the height of the can. So let's figure out the height. Well, instead of starting all over again and doing this whole process for the height, we actually have a, an easy way to do this. Uh, we know that the radius has to be 5.419. And over here we have a formula for the height in terms of the radius. So let's use this. We have h is 1,000 divided by pi r squared. So we have h is 1,000 divided by pi times 5.419 squared. And let's see what that is. I'm going to do this over here. 1,000 divided by and if you're doing this on the calculator, you have to put parentheses after the divide by symbol. I've got 10.839 centimeters. There we go. And I think we've answered the question. If you wanted to, you could write out a full sentence explanation of this, but I think this is clear. So I'll just say it in words. The dimensions that will use the least amount of aluminum is if we make the radius 5.419 centimeters and the height 10.839 centimeters. What I think is pretty cool about this is that the height is actually, I believe, exactly double the radius. So it's a neat little fact. So the most efficient can you can make that use the least amount of materials would be if the height was about double the radius. Which from my picture here, it looks like my picture is pretty accurate. It looks like the height's about double the radius. And that can will hold the most for the amount of aluminum it uses. All right, here's another.